Oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> All right, so you want to learn how to change the shape of your face, or maybe you clicked on the video because you can't. You think I'm just BSing you, and that you can't change the shape of your face or the bones that make up your skull. Well, I'm here to tell you that you actually can, and it's two very simple steps. So the benefits of the tips I'm going to be talking about in this video, there's actually a lot. First of all. Breathing is incredibly important. You need it every single minute of your life. So, because it's so important, and because you need it so often, it's obviously gonna affect a lot of different systems and aspects of your body. But we're mostly um, focused on the face. So, in attractiveness, just that lens, first of all, if you implement the tips that I'm gonna lay out in this video, your jaw will become slightly less recessed and will project forward slightly and your face won't be as long and your face sort of shifts slightly upwards and your bones will start to form into different ways and you change the shape of your face. It's really good. It pretty much makes anybody more attractive simply by implementing the steps I'll show in this video. So another benefit, not talking about the you know, the aesthetic benefits, is the health benefits, right? So, you know, people actually overbreathe too much. So breathing through your mouth, it's obviously gonna get a lot more breaths in, a lot more oxygen in, which actually is a bad thing. Again, that's outlined in the book, The Oxygen Advantage. So definitely check that out, very interesting. And yeah, mouth breathing brings in more oxygen gets rid of the carbon dioxide, which you need for oxygen to get delivered into the muscles, brain, heart, etc. And so it's just bad for pretty much every system. Not only that, but oxygen is actually somewhat of a reactive chemical. So basically a lot of oxygen causes oxidization inside of the body. And that's why antioxidants are so important for you because they reduce the oxidants level and you're less likely to get cancer or other diseases such as those. Now, the first step, that's more, mm, it applies to not everybody, but the second step, you can apply it right now at every single time of day, even when you're asleep, and you pretty much just progress in making your face better and more attractive in general. So, what is the first step? So, the very first step that you have to do is simply shift from mouth breathing into nose breathing. Yeah, both of these steps are gonna involve how you breathe. So what do I mean by mouth breathing, nose breathing? So a lot of people, sometimes they breathe through their mouth. So, you know, their mouth is always just like stuck open, like <sighs> they just breathe like that. Now nose breathing, well, simply just breathing in and out of your nose. Now you may not think that has that much of a difference, right? Not nearly to the extent of changing the morphology of your face. However, I didn't learn it from this book, but the oxygen advantage goes into great detail about the difference between mouth breathing and nose breathing. To summarize it, basically, nose breathing is good, mouth breathing bad. <laughs> More specifically, mouth breathing can change the shape of your face because it impacts how much like air goes through your lungs, through your throat, and you're also not getting, you know, because there's this thing chemical in your nose called nitric, nitric oxide, and breathing in to your nose will bring that nitric oxide into your the rest of your body and nitric oxide is good for immune system health and you know it's like keeping the thing up <laughs> if you're a guy you would know especially if you're an older guy if you're an older guy then you should probably pay attention to this video as well <laughs> ah anyways i digress so nose breathing good mouth breathing bad so you may still think that, you know, all this mouth, nose breathing stuff is BS. Well, let me just put up two pictures, one of a mouth breather and how their face looks, and one of a nose breather and how their face looks. Hmm. See, you notice the difference? Yeah, the mouth breather, their jaw is more open, a bit longer, and just looks a bit off. While the nose breather, their face looks completely normal. And yeah. Plus, in fact, mouth breathing is considered a defect <laughs> of the human body. And 
so it's important even the doctors say it's bad so you should definitely learn and understand these concepts so first how do you nose breathe more well if especially if you're a chronic mouth breather you've been having this habit of breathing through your mouth every single second minute whatever of your life and so it could be quite challenging to change this but there are a couple things that you can do first of all you may be saying oh my nose is a bit too clogged up so I can't nose breathe I just do mouth breathe <laughs> and to that I say it's not the clogged nose that's making your you a mouth breather it's the fact that you are a mouth breather that's making you a nose a clogged nose and so even if you have clogged nose you know that very small amount of air that you can breathe in that's all you need I know you may feel like you need more but really that's all you need so just you know maybe like a, a minute or two or three or four or maybe even five per day just sit down and just forcefully breathe well not forcefully like but like force yourself to simply just breathe through your nose very slowly and out very slowly as well so something like that now it may be hard at first but after a little bit you'll start to get used to breathing through your nose more and so it's easier to become a nose breather now the second step you can do is you can start doing this thing called mewing so basically mewing instead many people have if this is like imagine this is the mouth many people have their tongue on the bottom of their mouth like that right so just like that but in reality mewing is simply just lifting your tongue up like so so this is the top of your mouth this is a person this is your tongue this is a person who doesn't mew this is a person who mews so their tongue lays at the top or at the palate of their mouth so it's like that kind of way that now this pretty much prevents any mouth breathing so if you can do this you're pretty much set just at all times you know even when you're sleeping just have your tongue placed up against the roof of your mouth now if you have trouble with that then what well some people don't like this analogy but I think it's good to like sort of get an understanding basically imagine you're swallowing and as the swallow like reaches around here in your throat just stop and that's where your tongue placement should be so again swallow and you can almost feel the tongue reach up to the top of your mouth that's where the tongue positioning should be so a couple of tips with this make sure that the entirety of your tongue is placed on the roof of your mouth not just the tip but even the back of it right because all that pressure will lead to your face going outward and forward and your jaw to become less recessed so yeah another issue that a lot of people have is when they place their tongue at the top they also push outward so their tongue is touching their teeth now if you do this your teeth are going to get pushed out like that right and that's going to look bad so make sure your tongue does not touch your teeth and now another thing to really improve mewing in general is to do it while you sleep and I know that sounds really hard because you're not conscious when you sleep so how could you do it well first of all if you get good at mewing you're able to do it but a tip that I got from the oxygen advantage book is to actually tape your mouth like I did in the start of this video but don't use you know masking tape duct tape there's a specific tape that you need to use because it's the most I guess healthy so you don't ingest all those chemicals right it's micro pore tape or this is paper tape so basically just get a little bit like so and this is a little bit too sticky so just grab your the back of your hand and just tap it a little to get rid of the glue and just place it on your mouth like that so it's actually pretty easy to break off and you may be thinking that you know sounds like BS but in reality when you sleep that very slight bit of pressure will keep your mouth closed while you're sleeping so you're basically forced to breathe through your nose so those are two simple tips that you can do to improve the attractiveness of your face and to breathe better and to just live life better because breathing is really important to how every other aspect of your life functions because you need it every minute of your life so learn how to mew start nose breathing have a lovely rest of your day